it's a, a moment in Gone with the Wind, okay, where uh, we see uh, Clark Gable as Rhett Butler for the first first time, and he's just like leaning on a banister and looking at Vivian Lee you know, as, as Scarlett O'Hara going up the stairs. And every time that, if that's shown in a theater, every time the audience of women sees him, they go, <gasps> there's a, a gasp, okay, as like Clark Gable's old-fashioned masculinity, okay, and look in, in his eyes, okay, looking at her, whoa, his eye. Right, and, and there's a lot of that in, in movies. I mean, there's, I mean, there's moments in, um, you know, the, the Marilyn Monroe and the Seven Year Itch, okay, where, you know, where, you, where you, you've got this, like, completely klutzy guy who lives downstairs, and there's Marilyn just exude, or in or Niagara. Oh, Marilyn in Niagara, oh my gosh, okay, oh, where she plays this, like, femme fatale, you know, and, and, and so on. Oh my, and just exuding, just exudes sexuality to radiates out from her. And I know Marilyn Monroe herself, you know, was a very unhappy person and had trouble connecting, okay? But there, there, is a, there was a magic of, of sexual mystique and attraction once, okay? All right. in, um, in, in, in American movies that's completely gone now.